Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am your master of ceremony, Nigma, here to bring you guys another video. I'm sorry this took so long. I wanted to do this a few days ago, but stuff kept coming up. But now I am finally here, finally giving you guys this guide on none other than everybody's favorite hero, Scout. Yes, Scout. Can't see it here. I guess this is the Legion SD pools, but I am gonna be Scout. I joined this game and I, I saw that I was at the top of the, top of the litter, and I saw Scout in my SD pool, and I was like, you know what? I'm going for it. Ain't nothing gonna hold me back. I am, I am picking this Scout, and I'm gonna do this. Uh, before you close this video, this is an 1800 game. Almost everyone except for one guy who's two MMR off is 1800 so um, before you dismiss this as a game with scout why am I watching this um, it is a higher higher tier game not competitive uh, I am here all alone this is solo matchmaking I probably wouldn't have picked scout if this were a, a game where I know that the enemy team is together but this was solo matchmaking and so I assume the enemy team is for the most part all solo matchmaking uh, queue people and so um, <laughs> in which case I will take that risk because I think a lot of the times like uh, when you play against a team of five and you want to be scout they are just going to kind of group up and counter you to a degree that you're not going to be maybe as as useful I'm going to skip ahead here <laughs> that fast forward announcer sounds fantastic um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this game to start. I haven't watched this replay, uh, I don't think I've watched this replay at all, but I have, I, I did play this game. <laughs> this is me a scout, um, a few days ago. So what you want to do a scout, uh, right when the game starts, uh, I grab the iron buckler, I grab the logger's hatchet, and I grab a health potion. You can get runes of the blight, I prefer health potion because it does heal slightly more altogether, and I just sprint down to um, one of two rune spots. Now, uh, obviously you want to let your team know that you're actually going to be going uh, to the top lane if you're Hellborn. So if I'm going top lane as Hellborn, that means I'm going to go to this rune spot first, and then I'm going to go here and then return to the lane. Now, if I was Legion bottom, then I would go up here first, ward this first, and then ward this, and then come down and to my lane. Scout uh, usually always goes into the lane that he can pull. Uh, there's really no exception because, uh, simply because Scout, fast forward through this pause. Scout uh, has the unique ability, of course, to uh, not just place wards, but counter ward wards, and not just any wards, but also here the, uh, the wards that they will place to block the neutrals. Uh, they basically can't block the neutrals because you're scout. So that's just one one little advantage of being scout one of many um, People don't seem to like scout. Uh, I see this all the time. I think scout is a very misunderstood hero. I think that um, as You can see they are going to block the ward here I think scout is a hero that people are just not utilizing 100% correctly because uh, I think he can be useful I think in the current metagame He's still not maybe 100% viable if the team is organized simply because he does need farm. He needs that beginning farm. He needs to get that ruined cleaver, something I'm going to talk about in a second. But uh, all in all, I think Scout is not being utilized to the best of his ability. Uh, just in general, I think people are kind of missing the exact, the finer things that you need to... Uh, do a scout in order to be good. So hopefully we'll see some of those things this game. Again, not all my games are perfect. Obviously they're basically never perfect. In my Legionnaire guy last time, um, for example, I didn't stack the initial creep camp. Somebody in the comment section pointed that out. That is correct. I usually always stack the small creep camp. I didn't do it that game. Game wasn't perfect. Uh, I make mistakes. But um, this game actually was pretty good. I was playing this game and I thought, man, I should I should keep this game educational so that I can make a video out of it. And it ended up pretty good, so hopefully we'll see some cool stuff. One thing I want to point out here, notice this ward by Mr. Uh, Mr. Myrmidon here. I don't like if I don't like well as scout I like this ward because it's terribly placed, but if I was Legion I wouldn't like this ward because 
um, it's really easy to count ward. If you were to just place it here in the trees, or here, or just down here, it would be so much harder for me to kill a scout, because even though I can place my ward and see everything, I would still need to like cut down trees and whatnot, which can be tricky, even with hatchet, because the cooldown. Um, Bombardier gonna go down here, because I was just buying, uh, actually I was buying my iron shield. I don't always get iron shield. If I'm having a lane where I'm not getting harassed, or it's just really easy lane, then I will usually just stick to the iron buckler. Iron Shield is something I pick up more if I'm up against like two ranged people, especially someone like Valkyrie who has a ridiculous attack animation. Hits uh, relatively hard. The Iron Buckler really takes some of her steam away. Um, scout in the lane. Let's see here. They're gonna keep trying to kill this Bombardier, but I'm here now. Uh, one thing to note is Scout, like if they start attacking your teammate, uh, you should sort of get in their face and start auto attacking them. Um, notice I didn't put an electric eye down to silence, there's a reason for that, because I already have two down, and it's only rank 1. And you're gonna see, I am gonna get rank 2 of electric eye at level 3, because I really need to have that extra ward to put down. It's more important than getting a second rank of vanish. I see people who level disarm sort of early, I don't like that, I don't really see the point, because... Uh, I mean, it's a chance-based thing. Their argument is always, hey, it lets me last hit better. But, I mean, it's chance-based, so it's not really going to let you last hit better anyway. It doesn't really matter. Scout already hits really hard, especially with the logger hatchet. And here you can see, I noticed the creep pull is warded. I am going to take out um, this ward. And the best thing about scout is you can just destroy your ward after. Uh, if that was a normal... Um, a normal ward, I would not have placed it right in the center, else I would have blocked my own creep camp, of course. You can see here, Bombardier is just not having a great time. But, I mean, on one hand, yes, Bombardier is getting completely reamed. On the other hand, um, I'm getting decent farm. And you're going to see in this game, the one mistake that the Legion team makes is they sort of give up trying to kill me. You're going to see, notice how I'm just getting really ballsy here. I'm getting ballsy because I know Myrmidon doesn't have a lot of mana left. He has no stun, nothing. And uh, Scout always able to escape with that Vanish, uh, if possible. But uh, technically, Myrmidon, Valkyrie, very strong lane, very aggressive lane. Uh, if, if they weren't just like completely reaming my my friend here, I would probably have to be more careful. We're gonna see a gank coming in here. I do place the Electric Eye, sadly, out of range of Myrmidon. I really wanted to get Myrmidon, but I couldn't. And Valkus just has too much life, but a nice try. If somebody tries to gank the lane as Scout, it's basically your job to drop that electric eye. That is your job. Uh, whether or not you provide damage is kind of up to the situation if you're in a safe spot and you can really just dish out damage. Um, here, Valkyrie getting a little bit ballsy. I get low, but I am... Oh, okay, that was just terrible by me, because I thought I had rank 2 vanish, in which case uh, just right-clicking uh, Valkyrie would have made me attack twice, but it's only rank 1, so you only get f like 300 attack speed for one hit. So um, I should have animation cancelled after I came out of stealth, but I didn't because I'm stupid. But that's okay, I didn't die, and we did get Valk, so and all's well that ends well. Ends well and all that all's well. Uh, I'm going to be picking up the life tube here. I do get the rune cleaver first. There are some people who get shield breaker first. I don't do that. I like my my rune axe not only people say oh why would I get it? It's only good for farming. I don't agree. The reason I get rune axe is because it gives me that sustainer and the sustainer provides me with mana regeneration and health regeneration. The health regen is nice now in the laning phase, not so important later, but in the laning phase very important. But um the mana regen is useful all the time because Scout doesn't have, you know, that great of a mana pool. And uh, he really needs that mana regen to sort of be useful. And you'll see here, um, Bomb does go down. I do pick up the kill on Valk, which is huge. But uh, you'll notice uh, <laughs> the Myrmidon used Magikarp on me. And it's actually, this is a funny thing because I can go invis while the carp is still coming at me and then he won't really know where I am. Like he'll see the carp heading towards me, but he won't know exactly, you know, where I am. So if you if you invis right when he drops the carp and then you just kind of sidestep the uh, the weed field, um, 
it's actually very hard to hit scout with that combination unless like unless I'm very close to him or I'm absent-minded or something but um so you can see here um what does the GPM look like? I am the top of my team. Scout, he hits really hard, or she in this case. With Logger's Hatchet, I mean, it's so easy to score last hits, uh, assuming you're not being like completely harassed out of the lane. You should be getting last hits quite easily. I am missing some, but in general, I'm still 260 GPM, which will hopefully continue to sort of go up throughout the game. Uh, it's also not uncommon for the enemy to counter your your electric eyes. You notice in this game, if I had to complain about my enemy team being too dumb, I would say that they, if, if you're up against a scout, you're going to think that he's probably going to put electric eyes somewhere. And unless he like wants to cut down these trees, which was something that you, you used to be able to do, but now you have to cut down like two or three to make it work, so I don't bother anymore. I just put it here to save time. Um... You should kind of walk around these edges here and look for scout wards. Same here. It's usually always here. This is kind of the best spot. Shows you the rune. Lets you counter ward up here if you have a normal ward. Uh, if you're playing against scout, check for that. It, it's really a pain in the ass. Because often his team will be relying on these wards, these electric eyes. You see, my team has no regular wards because they, they figure this, you know, scouts kind of drop wards. And I did. But if they remove these, then I would be, or our mid rather, would be in trouble. You're going to notice here that um, even though I did counter ward this pull, we're not really pulling it too often. Uh, that's because it's not my job to pull it, it's Bombardier's job to pull it, and he's just having a bad time, and he's not really here anymore. I don't know what he's doing. He's going like somewhere else now. But uh, in general, it's my job to sort of make sure there's no ward here, and then it's the my babysitter's job to stack pull the creeps, etc. Uh, I mean, you can mix it up. There you go, another another juke I did there. Uh, they do have a word of revelation here now, and it's going to be interesting, because I don't know that this ward is here yet, I don't think. Oh, I do. I did see it. I did see them put down a ward here, and I didn't see dust go off, so I know it's a ward, and instantly counter ward it. Bam, they wasted 100 gold trying to kill me, and they failed. Uh, generally, when ganking scout, I like to use dust over wards, unless you're pushing, because that, that's an entirely different thing. But if you're just trying to gank, I think dust really the better option here. I think we're gonna see a thing here. When somebody ganks my lane, I like to move to the side and then go invis, just so the enemy sort of doesn't see me go invis. Because um, if you go invis, when there's nothing, there's no reason to. Like, if the enemy sees you go invis, but they don't see anybody else yet, then they're gonna, like, okay, scout's going invis, that means he's gonna try and do something, which means we're probably about to get ganked, and so then they'll back. So, um, don't be dumb, don't give away your gank. If they're, if your team's gonna gank your lane, go invis in an area where they can't see you, and that pretty much applies to any time you wanna try and open up on somebody. But, um... Don't spend too much time trying to gank a scout, or actually don't spend any time. I mean, when I'm talking about ganks with scout, I'm talking about ganks that come to me into the, into my lane. But a, a thing I see scouts do wrong is they're like, okay, I want to be, you know, a better scout, so I'm going to, you know, go help and gank and, you know, roam or something like that. No, don't do that. Um, I know it sounds wrong. I know it sounds like, why would I just want to sit there and farm? But scout has to sit there and farm. He needs to do it until he gets the rune cleaver. Um, the thing that people do wrong with scout is they don't know when to be active and when not to be active. And for me, it's really time to be active is when I once I complete the ruined cleaver. That's when I can be useful for my team. Until then, I am not useful. I can only help assist in the lane with my ult, with uh, that electric eye, maybe with some auto attack damage, but not often. And you're going to see now, I'm basically farming completely unhindered. Like, this is huge. I'm 1-0, and oh, so I haven't died. Uh, the enemies are too preoccupied with, you know, ganks and whatnot. And I do apologize for not, like, viewing all these inter interesting ganks that are happening, but it's, it's not very interesting to stare at scout farming, but um, my goal per minute should be slowly increasing here, 250. And uh, you're going to see they're just going to kind of leave me alone because, you know, 